If you are finished writing your story, you're going to be using Microsoft Word to type your story up. The first thing you'll have to do is find Word on your computer. If you don't see it on your desktop as one of the icons in the taskbar, you're going to have to search for it. You're going to click where it says the Start button or the Windows button in the corner. And in the Search Programs and Files box, you're going to type Word. Now, if you notice, you can see mine, but on your computer, I am 100% sure you're not able to see the icon at the top. So you do have to type the word. Um, and once you type it, you're going to see Word 2013, not WordPad. Word 2013 with the little blue W or white W. And you're going to click it and wait for it to load. Um, you're going to open up a blank document. Because it is the first time that you're opening it up, you need to save as. And we want to save it to your student drive folder in case something happens to your computer. You can use any other computer and find your file. So first, we need to click File. We're going to click where it says Save As. And mine doesn't have, doesn't show my folder on the student drive. And yours might not as well. So you're going to have to click where it says Browse. and it might take a second. Okay, so it might open up to libraries and documents or another folder. You want to find computer. Now computer can be on the sidebar over here or you can use your little drop down menu up at the top and you should be able to find computer that way as well. So I'm going to click it from here and when you click it you're going to be able to see the student bird or student drive folder. My computer is slightly different and I know I have it saved on my desktop so I'm going to go to my desktop, but you should be able to find it where I just showed you. And we're going to open up the student drive. And you should be able, once you open up the student drive or student bar, you should be able to see Tech 101 or Tech 102, depending on the class. Just for an example, I'm going to use Tech 102. Um, okay, so I'm going to pretend that I am Angel Munoz and open up his folder. You should just be able to go directly to your folder where it says file name. We want to change it. We don't want to keep it as doc1. So we're going to click inside of that box, press delete, and we're going to save it. So I'm going to save it as um, my story, Angel, or Angel Munoz, because we have a few Angels. And then you're going to just click save. To verify that it's saved, you are able to look up here and you'll see that your name has changed from Doc1 to the title that you've added. So you should be able to pause the video and make sure that you've done everything that I've shown you how to do so far in this video. Alright, so second, you're going to be able to choose your font. And your font is in this box over here under the Home tab. It says Font. Make sure when you're choosing a font, you're choosing something that is easy to read. So for instance, I'll give you an ex a non-example. So this one's nice, but let's see. it's not the best for reading. So we're not going to choose that one. We want to choose something that's legible. So you can scroll down and you can look for one that you like as long as I am able to read it. So I'm going to choose this one for right now. I also want to choose a bigger font, so we're going to change it to size 12. You could also use the big A or the little A to either go up or to increase your size or to lower your size. I want to press enter. And the second thing I need to do is add our name to our document. So I'm going to go to insert. And when I go to the Insert tab, that means I can add things into my document, such as pictures or tables. In this case, I want to add my name. So I'm going to click on Header. And I'm going to choose the second one. So where it says Type here to the left, you're going to click on it. You don't even have to delete. You can just start writing your name. So again, I'm going to pretend I'm Angel Munoz. To type here in the middle, we're going to write what period it is, so this will be Tech 102. But again, it depends, it depends on what class you're in. And then here, we're going to write the assignment. So either zombie narrative, or if you're in Tech 101, you are writing.
writing on demand writing. Okay, and then you click close header and footer. Um, if you accidentally click on it again, you can either again click close header and footer, or you can also click somewhere on the blank side of the page. So for example, underneath this dotted line, you just double click and you're out. Okay, second of all, we want to add a title. Now for Tech 102, it doesn't really matter um, in terms of your, your title because we're going to end up adding this to our website anyway. We're typing it up here so that we can do grammar check and spell check. But for Tech 102, or sorry, for Tech 101, it does matter. So for Tech 101, you can add, similarly to what we've done in the past, you can click on Word Art to add your title. So an example would be my invention or something to your pleasing. So because it's in a text box, you should be able to move it to the center. Tech 101 or Tech 102, you could do this as well if you want to add a title. So example, see a blue squiggle line that means there's something wrong you need to make sure you need to fix it so all you need to do is right click over the word and it's going to show you what you made a mistake on so in that case it should have been lowercase instead of uppercase okay after you've done that you're going to press enter twice you're going to click tab in order to start your story because you want to indent And you want to begin your story. Now, I'm going to just show you a few things before you start. So they're coming, yelled Angelina. The zombies were approaching fast, their intestines dripping out of their bodies. Angelina began to sprint towards her group. Now, you're going to want to make sure once you've written, you're going to highlight all of it. And you're going to right click and you're going to click paragraph. And for line spacing, we're going to change it to double. And the reason why I'm asking you guys to do this is because once you print it, I want to be able to go in and edit, make little marks in between the white spaces. Once you're done um, typing your story, you're going to read it twice, and then you're going to ask a neighbor to come read your story. And then you'll be able to ask me to come to read your story, and then we can print it out. <laughs> 